How are we doing guys? Tevin Mercer here. I've uh, been tying some back bouncing leaders for fishing here in Southern Oregon. Figured I would do a quick video on show you guys how I do it. So I'm taking 25 pound mono maxima and I want to get well, maybe a little over three feet of line. I'm using three aught owner hooks, red is what I like. And what I'm going to do is tie, I believe this is a snell, egg loop, there's all sorts of weird names for it, but I'm basically going to wrap the line around the eye of the hook, or the, the shank of the hook, down past the eye, like so, you can see that. And then I'm going to take my the end of my line, put it back through the eye, and I'm going to pinch that line so that there's a loop. I'm going to just hang that up down here. What I'm going to do is grab the bottom side, have that five times. Now, pull that tight. And there we go. So that's one end. And this is just, uh, this is actually my trailer hook. This is nothing, uh, nothing too crazy. You could use whatever knot you want. I just like the way that knot kind of holds the hook sort of uh, straight on the line, a little, little more than some other knots. I do all sorts, but today I'm doing that. So now I take a corky, I slide the corky on onto the uh, end of the hook, into the line. Now I'm going to take one more three odd owner and I'm going to slide that down to where I want my front hook. This is going to be the hook that has all the bait on it, all my eggs, my fuzz bomb, all that stuff. So I'm going to get that to the appropriate length. I'm thinking eggs here, salmon, going to eat this. I want this to be a trailer hook. I don't want this hanging out of the mouth. I want this to be caught in the mouth one big bite when they take it. So same thing. You're going to start wrapping the line around the eye of the hook, just like so, going down. And you actually need more on this one because between your fuzz bomb and your bait, you want uh, you want a wider loop. So back through the eye of the hook, I'm gonna pinch it off, hang this loop down here in my pliers because the line's all coiled. I'm gonna grab the bottom end of this line and I'm gonna wrap it. I only need five times is all. Once I do that, pull tight. Cinch this up, grab both ends, pinch it down. So that's your loop. And um, a friend of mine named Chuck Klosterman invented these. They're called fuzz bombs. They're basically yarnies. You can get them in all sorts of different colors. He sells them, they're great. But uh, instead of being square yarn, they're already in this sort of round ball. So what you do, take a sewing needle, a big one because you have to put mono through the eye. But you stab it in the heart with the needle, like so. There's a knot in there, so you want to get in that knot. And then you take your leader line, go through the eye, like so. Thread the fuzz bomb on. Take out the needle now. And basically, this fuzz bomb goes on your loop. Put the line back through the eye, like so, and there you go. So the reason I do this is it's going to allow me to use, and I've used them before, it's like my, I'm, I'm pretty new to them, but I've already, I'm already sold. So uh, it's going to allow me to use smaller bits of row, which is good if you're guiding rows like gold, so you kind of need to keep as much of that on hand as possible, but the, the best thing is like a lot of times if you back bouncing with clients or someone who's not really familiar it's really hard to grab this loop if you just have eggs on there but having this yarn ball you can actually just grab the yarn ball slide your eggs in cinch it right back down so it's really easy it, instead of having to just find that little loop you can just grab that big piece of yarn and uh, yeah we caught a couple fish on it last week they're awesome 
they work. I mean, yeah, they're great stuff. So, anyways, just a quick fun video on how I tie a back bouncing leader for salmon here on the Rogue River. So, uh, anyways, thank you all. Have a good one.